Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. Today I'm doing a Halloween Hutch Challenge hosted by the lovely Davida Lane. I'm going to link her channel down below in the description box. You probably all are familiar with her, but in case you're not, definitely go check out her channel. She does awesome DIYs, very diverse in her DIYs, um, and very creative and budget friendly. Love her channel. She does lots of tours, home tours, and I just love her as a person, very genuine, and um, she's very, very talented. So go check out her channel, and um, today the challenge is decorating our hutch. Now, if you didn't have a hutch, not a problem. Uh, it was whatever you happen to decorate, your buffet, your side table, console table. This is a hutch that I already had, and I moved over in this location, which I like it much better. My dad refinished it, and I really like it over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a little closer and I'll explain everything. Okay, so these lanterns on top, um, I got the one on the left here um, for free and this one. I don't think you could see the light on in that one, but it's a little witch flying around and like a little scene. And then this one I recently bought at the 99 cent store for $3.99. And it's like a mirrored one with crows on it. And I just love crows. Um, they're so smart. <laughs> and then I have little 99 cent store owl and I got those two for free. Um, like I told you all, I, I've gotten so many holiday things for free from the, um, where I feed the feral cats. People just put things in boxes and dump it. And so does the Goodwill Express donation. They just get so many holiday things and I think they just get overwhelmed and dump them but they were just in boxes, not even in the dumpsters, just like in the area. So I think they, you know, know that if someone wants to take it, they can. So I was there feeding the kitties and found a whole bunch of Halloween things along with, if we go down here, this little jack-o'-lantern um, right there. And I didn't do too much down here because I just wanted to keep my mom's picnic baskets, but I put a pumpkin and a Dollar Tree jack-o'-lantern. So let's open it up. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So sorry for the lighting guys, it's a black hutch and I try to lighten it up with some of that spooky gauze that you get from the Dollar Tree. I have so many of these. I've used them throughout the year. They, they stick to my stucco on the outside for decorating, so I just love them. All right, so down here I thought I'd create like a little, kind of like a little um, Halloween scene. And this little witch here, which lights up, I know it's kind of hard to see. I got her for free also. I think she's kind of, she's ugly, but she's cute. She's, I think she's vintage. She's kind of beat up, but you can see all the little holes that the light kind of shines through. And she's just churning her cauldron <laughs> and then of course there's like a little um it's like a spider canister and I put a light in it made it look like a little tree with those roses from the Dollar Tree which you can't see because it's so dark in here let me see if I put the flash on there we go oh my goodness I didn't have my flash on and then some of those pumpkins <laughs> And I hung a lantern above it. And then this little guy, I made him, um, you know, those little kind of blingy looking tinsel like uh, cats. So I just wrapped him in um, burlap to make him look like a little mummy. And I took off his eyes. I didn't like the Google eyes. And I took off his little nose and whiskers. And then I put it back on afterwards. So let me take the flash off. Maybe you can see him a little better. I think he turned out super cute. <laughs> My roommate is like, okay, why are you doing that? I'm like, because it's cute. <laughs> so there's a little hanging lantern from um, the Dollar Tree. I took out the film in it. So it looked a little more authentic. And then I have this one. 
and then next to that are books that I've had. These labels do not want to stick on there, but um, anyways, they say they're from the Dollar Tree, and I think because of the texture of the book, it says Spells, Potions, and Witches Handbook. And then I have the little um, Witches Hat from Target Dollar Spot next to it. I just love that one. And then have a little tea light up here and some potions. This one says Booyah <laughs> with a little skeleton on it. It has like a little cork. I thought it was so cute. And this one's like a gray one and it says um, Magic Potion, I believe. And then this one, they were all from the 99 cent store. This one already had the lights in it. And it says Halloween, and it has like a vintage label. And then the cork on top. So let me go back to the vintage part. <laughs> My intention was to do a total vintage scenery for the potions and spells, little cutouts and everything. And then what happened was my printer, my dog, the puppy, chewed one side of the cord. So my dad fixed it. Well, then he chewed the other side. And I have not taken that cord to him to fix yet. But <laughs> so I couldn't print out the printables that Davida um, suggested on Google, which she made awesome cutouts. And I'm so envious because I really wanted to make them. And I wanted this to be a very like um, vintage looking. But I think it turned out pretty okay for not having the cutouts. I would really have loved them. Um, because I like this little label, all these labels here, I really love, especially this one. This one's my favorite. Okay. It's not focusing, but anyway. Okay. So the next level I have draping down is the gray, um, spooky fabric. And this one's probably one of my favorites shelves in here. Um, I have put all of my little Target dollar spot little houses and um, sorry I keep getting calls while I'm on trying to do this <laughs> and uh, and I paired it with some of my black Joanna Gaines line um, hearth and hand those little houses that everyone was hauling and I put some up on little pedestals to make it look like a little city, town, village, up on a hill. And I put the spooky material over it. And I just put a couple twinkle lights. And I wanted it to look like a little trick-or-treat village scene. So you can see a little girl right there, which I also got her for free. That was with the stuff. One of her eyes is a little darker than the other, but that's okay. So she's trick-or-treating around all these houses. There's the city lights all the way around. And I know the black houses are not coming out um, as well, but uh, let me see if I turn the flash on. That's a little better. And then I just put um, the little cupcake toppers. I took the toothpick off and then taped them on to a couple of the houses. I think they look really cute. I just love this little trick-or-treat scene. Trick-or-treating for me as a kid was awesome and that's why I really wanted to do the vintage scene because I feel like I was at the very tail end of it and um, I just loved it. It was so magical. I just adored Halloween as a child and it was more innocent back then and you know, People would invite you um, to sit on the porch and eat your donuts that they made or cupcakes or popcorn balls, cider, hot chocolate. So that's my little scenery. And I did take the other spooky cloth and I taped it, or not taped it, but I pinned it from the top all the way down. And then I put the gray at the bottom. Okay, the top shelf. There is a light up here, so you can probably see a little bit better. Let me put the flash on so you can see some of the stuff. So I wanted this to show like all the trick-or-treat goodies that you know you would have get gotten back in the day. 
and um, I paired it with some of the stuff I made previously and some new stuff. This awesome um, ceramic little trick-or-treat container I also got for free at that same same time and I got some other things too. I just really scored. <laughs> And then I put my little 99 cent store pumpkin. And then also back there is um, the pail. And I put some cake pops and my lollipops that I had done. I'll get closer and show you them a little better. And then over here in that corner back there, same thing. I really like the label on there with the kitty. And I put my pumpkin topiary. And then this was from the Target dollar spot. It reminds me of my cat Meatball who's also a black cat and she eats everything. She's, she's my smallest little cat. She only weighs five pounds and she gets into everything. You guys saw how she chews like my little pomegranate um, picks, anything that's round. Pumpkins, she's ruined a lot of my styrofoam pumpkins. Anything small enough for her to bat around and get her teeth in. So I thought that was kind of funny. So I put two of my little burlap candies in here that I wrapped up. I had made these previously. And then I did some caramels out of air dry clay. And then that's her, you can hear her in the background. I did some burlap um, cupcakes. Now I'm gonna get closer and I'll show you guys, but I was really inspired by one of my subscribers after I made my burlap um, muffins, she made her version and I loved them. And so I just made a little cake plate um, with a Dollar Tree candlestick I spray painted black. I put it on a white plate and then put some orange burlap in the center and then this like mesh stuff all the way around. So let me pause and I'll show you everything closely. That's Meatball and that's Vern. They see birds out there, so they're doing their weird little <laughs> sounds. Okay, so Dal, one of my subscribers and lovely friend, made, she was inspired my, by my burlap muffins that I made, which I'll link at the end. And I was inspired by her version, and I had to make them. So she made these with a styrofoam ball and then put the burlap around them and then put them hot glued them into a little paper cup and then put little um, cupcake toppers on them, which I did also. I think they're so cute. And then I just made it look like a little bit of frosting on top with some um, orange burlap that I had. And then that's my little cake stand that I made. I didn't have one. I saw some plastic ones, but I didn't really like them. So I just opted to make something and this has a little skirt on it. Let me see if you can see it better. Anyways, thank you, Dal. You really inspired me. <laughs> I think hers look better, but <laughs> okay. Now on to the little caramels. Now I was inspired by, of course, Davida. She makes a bunch of faux foods and um, she uses air clay. And so these are little caramels. I remember my grandparents always having caramels. And sorry, I have paint on my hand still. Um, and I just put a little um, candy corn that was real on top. But I let them dry for about a day. They dried really quickly. And then I put Mod Podge all over them. And then I put a real egg, um, candy corn and then Mod Podge that. And I think they turned out really cute. I remember like the older folks always having caramels. That's what they handed out. Sometimes homemade caramels. And my grandparents always had caramels. So that's kind of special for me. And I loved how they turned out. And you guys saw my little homemade treats that I made out of burlap from last week, I believe. From a different challenge. Now let me show you the cake pops. Okay, so these are my cake pops now. Okay, these definitely don't do Davida's um, cake pops any justice. I mean, she put out a wonderful tutorial. I just ran out of time, but mine look more like lollipops. 
well, like Tootsie Roll Pops. And so um, I didn't do the sprinkles that she made. I took a cheating route and I used <laughs> some of these udon noodles. So they're kind of flat. And then I took a marker and then painted in black and then I cut them, but then you can see the white of the cuts of the noodle. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, but on top of that, you know, um, I had painted them orange. I didn't use the spackling that she used, which gave hers a much more homemade look like real cake pops. And then, um, so I just painted mine orange and then I put the sprinkles on and then put a uh, Mod Podge all over it. So these look more like Tootsie Roll Pops, but I did wrap them in some cellophane and tied a little um, twine around it. And then those were my homemade suckers back there at a burlap from another challenge. And I put them in the little tins with some of that little corrugated paper from the Dollar Tree. So the other problem with these was that the marker started to run a little bit on the paint um, from the Mod Podge. So definitely don't follow my lead on this one for sure. Go check out Davida's um, Faux Foods uh, videos on this one, on the Cake Pops. I mean, on all of them. Hers are so awesome. And I did try to take a shortcut because I ran out of time. But um, I'm just happy that, you know, they kind of came out like little... Um, lollipops, Tootsie Roll Pops, and I use a skewer for their, their um, stick because I have bought dowels and they were just too big, too thick in circumference. So these are my take on Tootsie Roll Pops. We're going to call them Tootsie Roll Pops. I didn't make them big enough. <laughs> and then I just put a couple, um, little target dollar spot chalkboard i think they're meant for a banner i got them a few years ago and i use them around halloween all the time um and i just hang them i just stuck them in my burlap um <laughs> screens here so that's it guys i hope you liked it and please go check out davida's um i'm going to be checking out everyone in her description box that host or participated and i really hope that you liked this I love my little mummy cat. I think he's so cute. <laughs> he's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I hope you like everything, guys. And I will see you all later. And please do leave comments. You know, I love your comments. I'm a little behind, but I will get to them. Bye, guys. Oh, I almost forgot to say. Thank you so much, Davida, for hosting all these awesome Halloween challenges. I've had so much fun. It's one of my favorite holidays. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.